Morning folks, I'm going to detect this field today I've never done it before uh, and it hasn't been ploughed So I'll give it a shot A bit of a gap in videos again but I actually have been out, I went out twice Last two weekends for four or five hours a time And I found Jack, absolutely nothing worth filming I think the best thing I found was a battered bag seal So hopefully better luck today what are you saying, guys? Alright, I'll come back with the first signal. Wish me luck. Right, well, there's the first interesting signal. I've already cleaned it up. It's a modern 1998 50 pence. So I can spend it. So there we go, that's the first uh, decent signal. Alright, I thought we had a massive button there for a minute, but. I think it's a a lid. Not a, not a lid, a handle. And I think it's pewter. Next signal is I think a modern coin, which is a bit frustrating. That's two modern coins now. Two pence probably. Uh, yep, it's a modern two pence. Boo! Okay, finally, we might have a nice old coin or button. It looks very thin. It's in there somewhere. Hold on. There we go. Yep, it is a coin. It's very thin. Not a clue what it is. Right, I'll need to clean it up. Could be one of the turners, it could be that sort of age. Right folks, look at that. It is a turner. It is a Scottish twopence and it's probably the best condition I've ever found one in. I'm sure that's what it is, although now I'm seeing that at the top, now I'm not sure. See, no, it's got to be, it is, it is. Now, is that 1600s or 1700s? Oh, it's 1700s. Right, let's see what it is. That's actually really nice. I've never found one with that detail still left on it. Obviously, nothing on the other side. <laughs> right, that's really nice, actually. I'll see what I can do when I get home and I'll try and get a date for it. Okay, right next to that turner, in fact, on top of it, we're practically in the same hole. We've got another coin. And that looks a lot newer than the turner that we just found. That's a half penny. Oh, beautiful. Look, look, look. Straight away, we've got the date 1883. Oh, well, that's weird, eh? You've got a coin that's like 150 years older than this, maybe even older, sitting in the same hole, 1883, Queen Victoria, and that's in not bad condition. Alright, now we're picking up a wee bit, it's been a very, very slow morning so far. Alright folks, we've got a treble. We're still in this bit, we've had a turner, a half penny, and now look, we've got the remains of a thimble. So why is there suddenly a little pile of stuff in this one bit? Look at that. Oh man, I wish that was full. I love these. Don't think it's got, it's not silver, but it's still, still nice. That'll be, I would go for 1800s. Right, I've got a question for folk that metal detect. Does this ever happen to you? Folk just standing and staring at you? Because it, 
it's happened three times today to me. It always happens to me. It does my head in, right? Because, for example, three times today, I'll sh one of them just happened. This man and his wife pull up to the entrance of the field to stop and have a cigarette. And they just stood, the pair of them, and stared at me for ten minutes. It, it's creepy, it's weird. I'm not on parade. Fair enough, it's maybe a bit unusual to see somebody out digging. You would glance at them, show a bit of interest, and then you would mind your own business, wouldn't you? Nah, for some reason when you're doing this, folk think you can just be stared at. It's rude. <laughs> I think it is. Could you imagine if you were out walking your dog and I just stood in the distance and stared at you? That would be a bit creepy, wouldn't it? Oh, man. Three times today. Folk just stop, get out of their car and stare at me. Or maybe maybe it's not the metal detecting. Maybe I just look really, really weird. I have got my camo on. But there's nothing unusual about that, is there? In a field? Oh, anyway, right, that's a minute and a half I've just talked nonsense. Okay, we've got something, where is it? Practically on the surface, it looks like a button to me, from what I've seen. It is on, no, it's a modern one. Or f kind of modern-ish, the ones with the four holes. Only button I don't really like digging up. <laughs> Apart from that, I love buttons. For some reason, so many people get fed up with them. But aye, that's all that is. A fairly modern button off a pair of jeans, I think. Right, this was given a rubbish signal. I'm glad I dug it up. What's this, then? Maybe a half penny. Maybe. Right, I don't know. At the moment, I'll need to clean this up. It looks like it might be a bit older than just a Victorian half penny. Okay, what is this? I don't recognise it at all. It looks like an interesting, possibly old coin. I don't know what that's supposed to be. I've been looking at it for ages. Is that like a tower on, on a castle? Or, turn it that way, is it a fish? Or is it like a dragon's tail? I, I don't have a clue. Almost looks like a thistle this way. There's writing around the edges and the other side I can't see anything on it. So it's old and it's not a coin that I recognise. Or token, could be another one of these condor tokens. So I'll try my best when I get home, but please let me know what you think that could be. If you recognise the pattern here. Right, we've got something that looks quite good there. Right on the edge of the bit of mud. See what this is. Is that even a coin? I don't think it is. It's shaped like an egg. Wonder what that is. Ooh, I think this. Ooh, some sort of medallion or medal or badge. I think there's something on it. Aye, look. Well, that's, that's a bit of a change. Right, I'll need to clean it up and see what what it says. I love stuff like this that I can try and research and find out where it came from. Now, not much I can do at the moment. I love these sort of things, but also they're so frustrating. See, trying to actually read what they say. So... And if it wasn't for the bit at the back, I would have put that down as a token. So I'm not sure what it is or what it says. It looks like on the bottom right it's 1903. 
but that might just be part of something else because there's another number there that looks like 17. Right, I'll try my best when I get home. I think I can see the very edge of a coin sticking out there. Ah, it is. And I think it'll probably be a half penny this time. Man. I had a wee heart flutter there because I thought that might be gold, <laughs> but no chance. I'm not that lucky and it doesn't weigh very much. Right, give me a wee sec, I'll clean this up. Alright, I'm quite excited about this. I've not cleaned it properly. I'm about to sit down and do it, but look, this is a weird one, right? It's got the date at the bottom, 1896, and possibly a P beside it, or a B. But, for a start, I think it maybe does have gold plate on it. And second of all, it looks like it was a pin. You see this bit here? And this bit here, but, it, so, it's not just a normal coin. So I don't know what this is. And look at that, that's not... That's not a penny or half... What, what is this? I really don't know what this is. But I'm sure it's got a bit of gold gilt on it. That's a weird one, right? I need to go and sit down, have a coffee and play about with this. This thing. <laughs> That's pretty interesting though. Right, this is a strange one, folks. I don't know what it is. <laughs> The back looks like just an average half penny that's been, for whatever reason, gold gilted. But then the weird part is that it's been turned into a pin, eh, a badge. And the front just looks like a button. It's the weirdest thing, well it's not the weirdest thing I've ever found, but it is a weird thing that I've found. <laughs> you know what I mean. What is it? Why has somebody done that? Is it a special commemorative badge or something and it's got the date 1896 so yeah that that's a that's a new one for me folks if you have any idea what this is why it was made like this please let me know